We're good? Ready? Action. Okay. Um, so we are, we did something called in crisis, which is what we looked at uh, calling it, which is I-N-N crisis. A little wordplay there, but uh, essentially the idea behind it is we provide pe people the ability to um, donate money and they can utilize that money to get themselves a hotel room. And we talked for a while and we ended up reaching a couple of issues. One of the primary ones is getting our, I think it's 503C, um, we would actually be able to receive the donations. Um, and then the other one was getting the donations out there and be able to get the donations out there in a way that's secure for us that the users actually end up getting. Um, we don't just randomly give out people money. Um, and so what we ended up coming up with was the idea of white labeling it, essentially, for, an, for a, a different way of doing donations in general. Um, because our, our goal behind the system was to be able to drive additional donations by adding a social aspect to it, of knowing I donated, let's say, $150. I know 20 of it went here, 10 of it went there, and 50 of it went there. And it actually affected this person, this person, and that person directly. Um, and so that's our, our goal here, is to um, essentially allow you to click the donate button. You get a, a link that you can go to every once in a while and check up on it. And you also get an email um, when, the when the, your donation is completely used. And you can go and you can get little pictures and um, you can chat with the other people that you see to donate <coughs> and vice versa. They can send you their stories, send you pictures if you like. Um, at least the general idea behind it. Um, so we actually have the website technically up and running. Um, and technically it takes donations, it's on staging essentially, so it doesn't process any credit cards, but it takes processing them. And um, we have a link that you can click on to get your donation information. Um, and that's where we're at right now. We have some pretty UI to it uh, for the first couple of steps. And at the end of the day, what we ran into, the biggest issue that we ran into, was trying to figure out how to get the money that we have. Because getting the money, surprisingly, was not the hard part. It's getting the money to the people at the end of the day. So once we have all the money in our coffers, how do we figure out who gets it and how they get it? And um, what we're thinking of doing is trying to figure out to partner with our uh, like Red Cross or other groups so they could utilize this system in a genericized way. So if, for instance, they need to deploy for uh, a, another disaster that happens, that they can um, easily utilize the system to collect donations, to be able to get feedback from people. And it's a simple web form that they have. And, um, it allows people to know where my donation is going. Um, and it's really as easy as possible. Then again, it's sort of like a couple of hours that we get to this. So there's a lot more stuff to go with it. Um, but we are planning on hopefully pushing this project forward and turning it into something, actually getting a 503C and seeing what we can do with uh, some other modes of donations. So, because the, the idea was we were trying to alleviate that initial problem that Red Cross has right now of uh, housing. People are, they're, they're just filming and they need to get, and we just want to relieve for a couple of days. And so the idea was to give out options for $100. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can get for another donation system for two weeks down the line. And see if we can get the system up and running by then, or get the system at least tested so that we can prove that it works and then go the right cross. Mm -hmm. That's our project. Any questions? No questions. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I, I'm interested that you can tell a little bit how, how for the next hackathon, how would it be better to start the project? I mean, now yeah. you've been like circle navigating, so how it's been that process? Yeah, so for the next hackathon, I think the biggest thing is when, when anybody hears the word accepting donations or the words accepting donations, know that that can't go out with that day. Um, know that you have to get 503C or some sort of way to accept the donations so pipe them into something, some other system. Um, and it prevents and it, it actually was our biggest issue. Um, so just to clarify, 
anybody can accept a donation. A 5013C allows you to be tax deductible for the person donating the money. Hmm. If they don't care about that, right, you know, then that's less of an issue, right? Okay. Um, but that's what the 5013C gives you, is that it makes the donations tax deductible for the person making the donation. Got it. Okay. See, I had asked something about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think if you go, I know we're going to initially with the Red Cross or uh, I'm going to say, you know, you should go out here some of them, then you may see that the pilot system that was utilizing the money are going to be able to very quickly inform thousands of them what happened in the fund. Mm -hmm. um, it's only because they are sort of understaffed with it, but it's like how they come to. Yeah, individually your fights for the government as well. Um, I know I've had a similar conversation with the person that I've had before. Um, but they're not saying we're uncomfortable, but they, they can't help to the Yeah. So the goal behind it was um, the, the way that we would do that, to, to notify all the users individually, is actually through um, when, a, when a donation is taken. So somebody comes up and they, they take a donation, there's a form that they fill out. That would say they put in their first name, last name, and email address, and that's it. We would send an email to the person who received the donation with a link so they can go in and fill in their story and communicate with people. And then they will also immediately send out an email or a message to everybody else that donated that particular share of money that the person took. And so there's, it's all going to be automated from that aspect. The only well, one of the, the increases in, in time and duration of the is they fill out their life form over this period. Um, but the, from then on, the, the actual worker would need to worry about it. The problem with that is they wouldn't need an internet connection to be able to get it. But they would need an internet connection either way to be able to grab, the, to generate the money to get the stuff from the period to be. So for post office, there is one person directly receiving the money. So you just have a giant queue of all the donors and you just start pulling off one at a time. Um, for less concrete companies, or how do you, is, is this targeted specifically at ways that you can concretely match donors and donors? Yeah, so um, it's a little bit tricky. Um, there could be Potential ways that we could look at it saying, um, but let's say a shelter needed food. Mm -hmm. And let's say that they needed food for a thousand people mm -hmm. and it cost them a thousand dollars. Or something like that. And they got donations from a bunch of people. Every person that would come in would then sign up or sign in to the system that's getting that you see your donation, which would be like Way over the top, I would think about what would need to be done and just add a bunch of overhead to it. Mm -hmm. So I think it would, um, it also would have the benefit of, we could say, this is the whole total donation amount, mm -hmm. this is the number of users, divide that up, saying, I gave this person food that needs five of them, because I donated five dollars. Um, so you could potentially break up a large pool into smaller sections if you could reasonably decide how much money an individual person got. And usage out of the that night or out of that of that block of food. But I agree there's that there's an issue with it. And I think it's more the the issue is more about getting I want I want to know for my larger chunk or my larger sum of money like get that who that person is. Yeah. Hey, my question also was regarding I mean you approach from the technical perspective and the fiscal perspective, but yeah. for me it was more like uh, at this morning, we had this request from um, um, Chris's Commons. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, one of the projects was about hotels. Mm -hmm. We were not able to have all this information, so we just started trying to solve the problem on our own. Yeah. And as we didn't have this no partner organization to work with, so we arrived to this to the situation. No? Yeah. That's what so I mean, the the process for what we did is we looked at um, one of the, the first things was to figure out hotel availability. And the first thing that came to mind is kayak.com, expedia.com, all those other sites that are partnered and are designed for hotel availability. And they do a very good job at that, about connecting and working with people. Um, so one of the things that we said, okay, so how I get a hotel room, take it one step further, how do I pay for that hotel room? So that's how we got to this process. Um, as far as from a technical standpoint, 
what we decided to do, what I decided to do was, um, I had a couple of technologies out there that I'm quite familiar with, that allow for that kind of prototyping and for really getting things hooked up. And I just stuck with those. Um, we found a really good payment processor. Uh, um, we pay. We pay. Thank you. Um, we pay. And um, they do a fabulous job of managing all the payments for donations. So that's been great. Uh, I actually just got an email from one of the guys that developed one of the technical people there and fixed a bug or fixed an issue that I have, uh, which we were yeah, in the But uh, that was probably the biggest issue is getting the payment through today. Uh, uh -huh. Now we have the payment working in track. Yeah. And so moving forward with this, are you planning or just? Yeah, so um, it's a little tricky. I, honestly, my issue is if I'm not in the hackathon, I'm not working on something like this. But uh, what we're doing is we're going to set up a time to meet for this team um, within the next two weeks or so to be able to just to sit down and work on it um, some more, a little bit longer, and hopefully to keep the, the project moving or at least keep the energy about the project going until the next hackathon. Until the next time we get a chance to work on this. Okay, great. Okay, yeah. <laughs>